In this series of short movies, I am describing nine elements of authentic learning environments for use in schools, universities and other training contexts. In this movie, I'm discussing multiple perspectives. Multiple perspectives in your learning environment allow different perspectives to be examined by students from many different points of view. So multiple perspectives are not just a single perspective, such as a textbook. So if you think about the different kinds of search engines that are, are around, an example I want to give you is the digital, uh, digital Library for Earth Systems Education, which is a specific digital library with a collection of hundreds of res online resources. Uh, and I want to just show you how you, it can be more useful for education than just a simple Google search, because sometimes when you do a Google search, you, you find so much and you can often waste an awful lot of time. Um, for instance, say you were interested in exploring whether humans could live on Mars. If you type that in, people on Mars, then you find quite useful information uh, that's that's uh, very relevant um, without finding lots of other things about Mars, like men are from Mars and women are from Venus and all of that kind of other material that you would find like Mars in this library means Mars the planet. Um, so if you, you, you found there, can people go to Mars, that sounds very, very relevant. And in fact, then you can download a, a little audio of that. This radiation between Earth and Mars poses a hazard to astronauts. How dangerous is it out there? NASA scientists are working to find out. Um, so another thing that you can do with the multiple perspectives, and this is in a, prim a primary school, uh, for instance, just help students in the planning phases. So the teachers provided the students with just a, a little matrix here to write down where they're going to find out their information. So how will I find out? I can talk to someone, I can read a printed book, I can research on the internet, for instance. And the students write down how they're going to find out their information uh, before they even start their search. Um, so in your learning environments, the useful questions to ask are, are students able to explore issues from different points of view? And are students able to use a wide variety of learning resources and materials, not just a single textbook? In the next movie, I'm going to describe the next element, which is collaboration.